in the league at every position on the field. Dolphins went undefeated, 17-0. Oh, <laughs> here you go. Yeah. yeah, but the Bears had a quarterback who could actually throw the football. Oh, oh, don't go there. Dolphins scored more points than any other team that year. Bears. Undefeated. Bears, look, you guys got Shula, we got Ditka, but come on. McMahon with the goggles, Walter Payton with the headband. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Catch. What was that? You're getting a little rusty there, Miss Tight End. Maybe you use a little practice? Oh, yeah? You're on. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You got enough of them there. <laughs> <laughs> You just ruined my entire day. I had so many things to do. I like these kinds of days. Me too. What are you doing later? When? The night? For the rest of your life? You busy? <clears throat> Look, I know it's soon, but it's not that soon. Hey, six months ago, I fell in love with this incredible woman. She doesn't know anything about football, but she's amazing in the sack. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you to marry me, and you whack me in the ribs. You didn't ask me to marry you. You just wanted to see if I would say yes. You're right. And now I know why you would say no. Why would I say no? Because I'm a Bears fan. Yep, that's it. I knew 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 it. This is Rebecca Baxter. I just wanted to thank you, Dr. West, for how much you've helped me. She called four times yesterday. Couldn't stop telling me how much you changed her life. Sorry, I'm late. I had to write a paper for a developmental psych, and I pulled an all-nighter. How's school going? Uh, I have so much work to do. These online class deadlines don't give you any wiggle room to be late. At this pace, I'll have my PhD when I'm 50. Oh, hey, did you get the journals from the medical library? Sorry, I forgot. I've just been so busy. Nancy, I need those for the book signing this weekend. I, I know. I'll get them today. OK. Thanks. feeling a lot better. Great. What makes you say that? For one thing, I went to the mall yesterday, walked through a bunch of stores, and didn't get the urge. So you did the breathing exercises? Yep. They work. Thank you. You want some? No, thanks. Well, the good thing is, it's treatable. A lot of doctors would prescribe medication, but I'd rather not. Dr. West, I uh, really feel like I've turned the corner. In fact, uh, I don't think I need any kind of treatment anymore. That's terrific. Um, looks like our time is up. OK. Well, thank you. David.
Kleptomania is very common, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. We can beat this, but we need to be honest, right? Honesty, yeah. That's what it's all about. You're absolutely right. See you next week? Yeah. So, this is for you. Hey, look at this. Read the jacket, the back part. This book is dedicated to my mentor, Dr. Elizabeth Summers, who taught me everything I practice. Veronica, you didn't have to do that. I wanted to, and it's true. I love you. What's the matter? You don't think I should have written that about you? No. It's wonderful. Everything you do is so wonderful. Then what is it? They laid you off? My boss didn't have the guts to tell me in person. Instead, I get a form letter from the state capitol. You were their lead psychiatrist in their psych unit for what? 12 years. It's a government job. How can they do that? Budget cuts. They can do it. So what are you going to do now? I don't know. Hey, maybe you can start your own practice again. Or, or find another state hospital who needs somebody like you. I'm not a kid anymore. Do you really think that for a woman my age, either of those scenarios are a remote possibility? Sorry. I was just trying to stay positive, like you taught me. Yeah, like I taught you. Congratulations. Thanks. We should order. Lunch is on me. <laughs> <laughs> Good news, I talked to the publisher and got them to fork up a huge chunk of cash for promotion. I got you book signings and interviews in New York, Boston, Atlanta, Houston, and Miami. Uh, consecutive? Yep, you'll be gone for six weeks starting in June. Uh, what about my patients? Huh? My patients, I, I can't just leave them for six weeks. They need me. Oh, don't worry. Your patients will be here when you get back. Besides, once your book's a bestseller, you'll be helping millions of people get better, right? Probably the only thing you care about is money. That's supposed to be an insult because it's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Hi. Thanks for coming. For you? And your name? Uh, it's Brianna. B-R-I-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Okay, Brianna, here you go. I was wondering if I could uh, schedule an appointment. Uh, well, you'd have to have a referral from your doctor. I don't have a doctor. I'm sorry, but I, I can't take on patients without a referral. I'm having trouble sleeping, I just need to talk to someone, please. I don't normally do this, but um, if you want to talk to my assistant, Nancy, she can give you all the details, and if it works for you, we can set up a time. Thank you so much. I truly believe that your work has an impact on people's lives. I'm just trying to help. Dr. West. Yeah, I got here as fast as I could. Why should uh, sign my book? Come on, David, you didn't have to come down here. I, I would have just signed it at my office. I know, but this makes it official. And there's all these other people ahead of you. If you're not doing anything after this, I could stick around and we could get a coffee, or drink, or dinner. Hi, Brianna. I'm Nancy. Let's talk over here. 
you remember our talk about boundaries? Mm-hmm. Stay for the cure. Hi. Thank you so much for coming. Sure. And while you're not responsible for the abuse you incurred, you are responsible for your own recovery. If you want to get better, you need to tell the truth to your loved ones, to the community, and especially to yourself. <laughs> Next question. You've done a lot of work with hypnosis. Is this something that we can do at home? And if so, would it be all right if I hypnotize my husband? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, hypnotherapy has come a long way, and it's not what most people would think it is. Still, though, you should explore the technique in a professional setting with someone who is trained. All right, last question. Have you ever caused the death of one of your patients? I'm sorry. Whoever wrote this, this was completely out of line. I can't believe somebody It's fine. Uh, no. Nobody has ever died because of my advice. <laughs> well, thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's give it up for Dr. Veronica West. Thomas, you remember him? Well, apparently, he got really drunk and crashed his car. He's dead.
morning. Morning. What happened to you? Oh, I, I slipped on the back porch. So stupid. I hope you're OK. Yeah. Brianna should be here in 15 minutes. Let's get the. Come on in. Please have a seat. Is this where all your patients sit? Usually. I record all of my sessions with my patients on this computer. Let me know if that's a problem. Uh, I'm not sure. It's completely confidential. I'm the only one who hears them. I suppose I don't mind. Let me tell you how I work. What happened to your forehead? It's nothing. These days, most psychiatrists... You don't like to prescribe pills. You prefer more natural methods. That's right. And I also... And sometimes you use hypnosis. Sometimes, yes. Not always. Wow. You really did your research. I read your book. <sighs> Let's talk about you. You said you have a tough time getting a good night's sleep? I have this dream, this nightmare. My heart races and I sweat buckets. It's the same every night. I don't want to be this way. This is a safe space. You can cry, scream, punch. Just not me. <laughs> the air or a pillow, preferably. Just don't be afraid to let those emotions out. Your book really spoke to me, and I just knew you'd be able to understand this, whatever this is. You know, when we're kids, we dream about make-believe stuff. Monsters under the bed, ghosts. But as adults, we dream about real life. And sometimes that can be even more terrifying, right? I don't do this often, but in your case, I'd like to try hypnotherapy. With recurring dreams, I've found that it works quite well. I don't want to be hypnotized. Brianna, it's not what you think it is. You're completely in control. It just helps you to focus your mind. Uh, where are you going? Brianna? Brianna, please wait. My apologies, Dr. West, but I just can't let you hypnotize me. I can't understand. I really wish you would let me try. You can't help me. Everybody can be helped. I know it's not going to be easy, but I'll be with you every step of the way. OK. Let's go talk to Nancy, and we'll get you on the schedule for next week. Come on. Let's talk about you. You said it's tough for you to get a good night's sleep? I have this dream, this nightmare. My heart races and I sweat buckets. It's the same every night. I don't want to be this way. This is a safe space. Sorry. <sighs> oh, what did you do to your forehead? I, I slipped in the shower. Yeah, ouch. You hungry? I'll cook some supper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's that from? <laughs> I have no idea. I swear. I I have no idea who sent this. It's probably a prank from one of my students. You know college kids, they're always doing stuff like this. What did you get? I swear, I don't know who sent this. Feel free to lay back and get comfortable. Know that you're in a safe place where no one can hurt you. Close your eyes. Just listen to my voice. 
Focus on your breathing. Feel each breath in, each breath out. Breathe in, breathe out. Tell me about the dream. You can do it. Tell me. It's at night. I'm running. I'm lost. I'm looking for something. I need to get somewhere. I don't know where I'm going or why. And then I see it. I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. It's okay. This is a completely natural reaction. You did great. I did? Thank you so much, Dr. West. Same time next week? Sure. Got you down for 10 a.m. Elizabeth, hi. Hi, did you get my message? Uh, no, what is it? I'm going out of town on Sunday. I'll be gone for a week. I'm going to go. Do you see you next week? Do you have time to talk? Of course. The reason I'm going out of town is I have job interviews in three different cities. <laughs> That's great. Well, they're long shots. And if one of these does pan out, I would You'd have to move. I would really miss you. Mm, you too. If I get one of these jobs, the earliest it would start would be five months. So who knows? It could be the fall before I'm back full time. I never asked for help. But do you think that you could loan me some money just until I'm back on my feet? Of course. How much do you need? 10000 10,000? I know it's a lot, but I... Hey, you're putting two kids through college. I understand. Thank you. But I don't think I can do 10,000. I'm not making that kind of money right now. I thought you said that you had plenty of clients these days. Well, I do. Yeah, but half of them are pro bono, and you know how long billing takes. And I have not seen anything from the book deal yet. Maybe we can handle this another way. Y you could move in with me for the time being. Rent out your house. I can't rent. <laughs> Forget it. No, I want to help. Forget I mentioned it. I should go. Wait, let's, let's talk about this. Your entire practice is based on my work. My methodology. You do realize that. Every day. And I'm grateful. I got your text. Um, what text? Inviting me here today. I got it. Um, I didn't send you a text message. I get it. <laughs> so, uh, where do you want to go when you're done? There's a really nice cafe a few blocks from here. David, this is very inappropriate. I told you that before. I like this. This is good. <clears throat> I'm gonna be at Eric's cafe. So you go out, you go left, it's on the right Sir, you side. need to leave. <laughs> what is this? Please. You know what? I'm her friend, so I can talk to her if I want to. You need to go. Get him out of here. Get your hands off me, bro. Dr. West, what is this? What's going on here? Hey, wait, why are you doing this to me? Veronica! Why? I did not invite him. <laughs> So sorry about this. Thank you so much.
The first thing I noticed when I walked in here was that they stole my computer. Did you back up your hard drive? Uh, two days ago, yeah. Um, and this. We got the security camera video, so we know when the break-in happened, but that's it. As you can see, he's keeping his face hidden. Does this person look familiar to you? No, he doesn't. That, that, that could be anybody. Yeah, he knew exactly where the cameras were, which means he's been inside this building. Is there anybody in your life that would want to hurt you? Do you have any enemies? No. Who was the last person here? I was. And where do you keep your pharmaceuticals? I don't have any. I make it a point not to prescribe medications to my patients. That's very unusual. Most psychiatrists give away lots of pills. Look, detective, I really need to get my computer back. I record all my sessions on my hard drive. Have any of your patients given you trouble as of late? If you're asking me if any of my patients would do anything this violent, the answer is no. How'd you get that bruise? Uh, I fell. It's nothing. Is there any way that you can give me a list of your patients' names? That's private information. You know I can't do that. I, I won't contact them. I just want to run some background checks. I just can't. I'm sworn to protect their privacy. Look, your computer was stolen, and I'm just trying to help you get it back. I understand. It would be in your best interest to do all you can to help me. Dr. West? Please don't touch anything, ma'am. Hi, Brianna. You should wait outside. I'll be with you in just a minute. Someone ripped off your laptop? Yes. But it's got my recording on it. My session is on your laptop, right? Then whoever stole your computer can hear everything I told you. That was supposed to be totally private. Detective Cortez is going to do everything he can to catch you did this. They'll find my computer. You promised nobody would hear that except you. Nobody was supposed to hear that. I trusted you. And I let myself get totally vulnerable and... I told you everything about me. How could you let this happen? <sighs> Call her in a couple hours. See if you can reschedule with her. Okay. And call David. I want to meet with him tomorrow. <sighs> There's a serial killer. Do you want to tell us why you did this? This is terrible. Who do you think did this? Not sure. The police didn't find any fingerprints. What about that guy at the book signing? David? Yeah. Well, maybe. He showed up to the last book signing, too. Oh, wait. You didn't tell me that. Yeah, security tossed him out. Are you serious? Why, why don't I know this? Well, you're busy with your end of the semester grading papers and everything. I didn't want to bother you. I'm not that busy. Please tell me you're dropping this guy as a patient. I, I want to talk to him first. I'm meeting with him tomorrow. Then I'm going to be there. I'll be fine. Nancy will be with me. Oh, right. Nancy, all 95 pounds worth. That makes me feel so much better. I mean, what if he attacks you? I can handle it, OK? When are you going to let me take care of you? You mean, when am I going to act like a defenseless female? I didn't say that. Look, what is all this for if I can't be there for you? If you can't trust me, you should feel like you can tell me anything. I do. I tell you everything. Really? Brianna, I, I just wanted to confirm that I'll see you at noon today. Yes, you will. Also, I wanted to apologize for yesterday. Why are you apologizing? You didn't break into your own office, did you? No, I didn't, but I didn't do a very good job safeguarding my patients' files. That part is my fault. The police are doing their best to recover my computer. That's good. You know, I thought a lot about yesterday, and I realize I have nothing to be ashamed of. You're right, you don't. 
I mean, so what if people know that I've been having these nightmares? I'm not afraid of the truth. If we want to get better, we need to tell the truth. That's what you wrote in your book. You're right. Well, I'll see you at noon. Oh, um, Brianna, one more thing. I, I need to ask a favor. What is it? Please don't tell anybody about the break-in at my office. It's just not public information. You understand. Yes, no problem. Thank you. See you soon. You too. Bye. David, you shouldn't sneak up on people like that. And you shouldn't have thrown me out of that bookstore. That was humiliating. Let's talk about this in my office, OK? No. Let's talk now. Why did you want to see me? Two nights ago, somebody broke into my office, tore it apart. They stole my computer. Do you know anything about this? Do I? You think I would do something like that? You were very upset at the bookstore. You do? You're accusing me. Last week, someone attacked me in my driveway. I didn't tell anybody about it. <laughs> you just, you don't get it, do you? I love you. I know I'm not supposed to say that, and I know you have a boyfriend, but I'm saying it anyways. I would never do anything to hurt you. I'm going to refer you to another therapist. You shouldn't see me anymore. This is how you respond when a man pours his heart out to you in front of the entire world? And then all you can do is tell him goodbye? I know you have feelings for me. For two years, you've told me to face my fears. What are you afraid of? Hey. I haven't heard from David yet. He's usually early. He canceled. Is Dr. West here? Just a moment, please. What's going on? Apparently, there's video from another security camera that didn't get downloaded the other day. Veronica, I'm sorry. I tried to... You're sorry for, for what? We enhanced the image, and we found this. That's you on the video. You broke into your own office, didn't you? What? Insurance fraud is a very serious offense, doctor. I have no idea what you're talking about. Doctor, Summers told us you planned to do this, told us all about your money problem. I said you work for free most of the time, out of the goodness of your heart. Jackson, what are you doing here? Don't say anything until the lawyer gets here. The lawyer? Who is this? Dr. West's boyfriend. He knew she was going to do it. Nancy, be quiet. Dr. West said if I kept my mouth shut, she'd give me 30%. I said no such thing. OK, 20. She doesn't medicate her patients, but she sure does take a lot of pills herself. Okay, Dr. West, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. No, get your hands off me. Hey, 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 no, go. No. <laughs> Don't run, you'll just make it worse. I'll grab her. Back. Let me go! Stop! Calm down. Let go of me! Calm down. Calm down. Stop! Calm down. Stop! 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 Veronica, it's gonna be okay. Just take a deep breath. Stop! No! You're okay. <laughs> David, over here, left eyeball. Bears game's about to start. Let's get this over with. If you want to get better, you have to tell the truth. I love you. Brianna Bentley, you're 10 a.m. Send her in. Hi. 
I'm ready. Okay, come on in. Breathe in. Breathe out. In. And out. Now tell me about the dream. It's at night. I'm running. I'm lost. I'm looking for something. Trying to get somewhere. I don't know where I'm going. Or why. I get to the end of the street. Get to the end of the street. What do you see? Nothing. Just an empty street. Good work. And you're back with me now. If there's nothing at the end of that street, then maybe your problems are over. Perhaps they soon will be. She loved me. I really did. Dad, she's your psychiatrist. No, she's not. I'm not seeing her anymore. Regardless, she has no business getting romantically involved with you. Well, she broke it off. It's so, over. Are you going to be all right? Yeah. I'll be fine. I'm out of here.
Thanks for staying online, Dr. Summers. How the hell did my session get uploaded to the internet? Uh, wait, what, what happened? Somebody sent me a link to the recorded session that I had with you. Next thing I know, it's all over social media. It was my voice talking to you right here in this office. Phoebe, let me explain. What kind of a doctor are you? My office was burglarized. That is not my concern. You were supposed to keep our conversations private. I told you things I've never told anyone before. My grandchildren are going to hear what I said to you. I am so sorry. You're not sorry. When my lawyer gets through with you, then you will be sorry. I'll, I'll take a message. I understand you're upset, so I'll let her know. That was Mr. Underwood. He said his session was found on the internet. Did anybody else call? Two patients canceled their appointments, and... What? They both said they're not going to see you anymore. <sighs> Veronica, do you realize how bad this looks? What can I do, Robbie? They tore apart my office and stole my computer. I just got my ass chewed by the publishing company. I'm sorry. How many more times do you want me to say it? They spent a fortune promoting you, and now with this hitting the news, all that money is wasted. You no one's going to buy your book. And you know what else? My boss is going to fire me. You know why? Because the publisher is going to sue my agency. Well, I have four patients trying to sue me right now, so join the club. Don't worry. Publisher wants to sue you, too. Who would do this? I don't know. But I'm gonna find out. This Sunday, I'm going to watch the Bears game at Stockton's. You should come with me like you always do. Then afterward, maybe we can take a drive up the coast, help you get your mind off of this. Football? You're really talking about football at a time like this? Okay, forget I mentioned it. Eight patients have completely dropped me. When the rest find out, they'll all go. You don't know that. This is day one. Those internet postings won't just go away. You're gonna lose a few people temporarily, but once they realize it wasn't your fault, they'll come back. No, they won't. And whoever's doing this is not gonna stop. Doing this? What are you talking about? <sighs> Someone's trying to ruin me. Last week, I was walking up to the house. Someone hit me from behind. I blacked out. When I woke up, I found this shoved in my mouth. Why didn't you tell me this? I don't know. I, I just, with the book coming out, I, I didn't want any bad publicity. Hey, hey, I'm not your publicist. You can tell me anything, you know that. Did you go to the emergency room and get an MRI? No, or? no, I'm fine. I just rang my bell for a bit. You sound like a quarterback. God, I can't believe this. What if you wrote a letter to all your patients telling them what happened and what you're going to do in the future to prevent it from happening again? I can't do that. Why not? Because that's admitting I was at fault. Legally, that's a bad move. Since when is telling the truth a bad move? I don't need you to argue with me right now. Okay. Sorry. Let me help you set up your new computer. Thank you. Please. Come on, you're blind, rep. Did you see that? Watch this. Watch this play back. <laughs> Offside's my ass. I don't know about this. 
You agreed. How do you know this is going to work? It'll work. I said I triple your normal rate. If you walk out now, you get nothing. Fine. Do you want another? We don't want us one too many. Oh, no, no, that's all right. Please, uh, it's yours. Uh, well, thanks. Um, Annalisa. Annalisa Jackson, hi. Hi. <laughs> Can I sit here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, go, go, go. There it is. Oh there it is. There it is. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh. Okay. Yes. Might be a good luck charm. Stop it. Oh, That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Mm. Crazy guy. Oh. 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 Thursday at your office? Okay, thank you. Hey, do you have a minute? Sure. I don't know how to do this. Um, so, I guess I'll just say it. You have no idea how much I admire you. You're like the whole reason I wanted to get my psych degree in the first place. Thank you. But... I can't work here anymore. Look, I know things have been hectic lately, but it'll, it'll go back to normal soon. It's not about the workload. This whole thing with patient recordings being posted online and the lawsuits, I can't afford to be associated with all that. If you quit now, it'll look really bad for me. And if I stay, it looks bad on my record. Someday, I want to have my own practice, just like yours. Please, just don't go. Veronica, if you were me, would you stay? I guess not.
I feel awful. Someone must have slipped something into my beer last night because after the game, I completely blacked out. Really? Yeah, I woke up in my bed. I have zero recollection. How I got home, I've been sick to my stomach all day. Oh, do you have any ginger ale? What's this? What the hell is this? Who is she? I have no idea. Where'd you get this? In the mailbox this morning. Is she one of your students? No. Is she the one who, who texted you the other night? I have no idea who this is or how these were taken. You expect me to believe that? Yes, I expect you to believe that. <laughs> I don't think this is funny. No, <laughs> no, I, I know who did this. It was Kenny. He was at the bar last night, and this is totally something he would do. Oh, that son of a bitch. He must have put something in my beer. I want to get him. Well, the question is, who's the girl? You know, he's got a daughter around this age. This is probably one of her friends. <laughs> oh, come on, don't look at me that way. I'm asleep in the picture. Look, I know this looks bad, but I'm telling you, this is just another one of Kenny's practical jokes. Are you having an affair with one of your students? No, I am not having an affair. Is that what you said to Ellen? OK, hold on. What happened between me and my ex-wife has nothing to do with this. You cheated on her, and that's why she left you. And I've been apologizing for that mistake for the past 15 years. I've been completely honest with you about that. Get out. Veronica. Get out! I'm going to let you cool off, and then I'm going to call you, OK? Am I the only one on the schedule? Looks that way. Come on in. Usually, you're so busy. Is everything all right? I'm fine. So how have you been sleeping these days? Oh, come on, Dr. West. I asked you first. Is business slow because the, you know, recordings on the internet and all? Yes. And I can't thank you enough for staying on with me when that happened. Not everything is your fault. How many of your patients have left you? I'd rather not discuss this right now. I disagree. I think you should talk about it. Remember? If you want to get better, you need to tell the truth. That's your line, not mine. Never should have written that in my book. Why? Isn't it a good idea to tell the truth? I was joking. Obviously, it's a good idea. Hmm. So how are things at home? Ah, oh, no, that's my line, not yours. I don't really know very much about you. I'm just curious. Are you married? No, I'm not married. Anyone special in your life? Not at the moment. Didn't I see you with someone at the book signing? We, uh, we broke up recently. That's too bad. Why? You know, I, I really don't feel comfortable discussing these types of things with patients. Well, since I'm your only patient, maybe I got confused and thought I was your friend. I appreciate that. I, I didn't mean to be rude. It's all right. I just can't imagine what it's like being in your position. You listen to people like me all day long, but you never get to talk about yourself. I bet you have so many things you'd like to share. Personal stories, secrets, things you've never told anyone. These meetings are for you, not me. Of course. What are you doing? Paying you. For these sessions? Thank you. Uh, so let's talk about you. How have you been sleeping? Like a baby. Let's get this show on the road. Dr. West, this was really great. I'm glad. I'll see you next week. OK. Can I talk to you? I have some information about your computer. Sure. Thanks for coming in. OK. Uh, bye. <laughs> we managed to trace the upload back to an IP address. That's great. Somebody took the audio recordings of your patients and put them on the internet from a particular computer.
Well, we found out which computer they came from. Okay, so you know who did it? We know who owns the computer that did it. Who? Your friend, Dr. Summers. Elizabeth? Yeah. It came from her desktop computer in her house. Did you talk to her? She claimed she wasn't home at the time of the upload. And we can't arrest her because we have no solid proof that she broke into your office. <laughs> this is just so unreal. Are you sure it was her? Computers don't lie. You ruined my practice. Are you crazy? I would never do something like this. Then how did those files get uploaded from your computer? I don't know. I was on my way to LAX at the time. I wasn't even home. Then what, somebody broke into your house and uploaded them? Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> this is so ridiculous, it's not even worth discussing. Who would do that? Who would trash your office and, and steal your computer? Do you really think that I did? I think you were very angry with me. I am still angry with you. And I'm getting even more pissed right now. You know, when I started my practice, I borrowed your methodology and you think that's unfair. You're right. You based your career on my left's work, and you got famous for it. If you were me, you would feel the same way. But Ronnie, come on. I'm not a burglar, and I don't go around sabotaging careers. How could you think that? What am I supposed to think? They traced it back to you. I didn't do it. This conversation is over. Ronnie! Don't text me or call me. We're done. Ronnie. made dinner. I'm not hungry. And I said I don't want to see you right now. Teriyaki tofu, it's your favorite. I'm still not hungry. Catch. I swear to you, I did not sleep with that woman. Somebody's setting me up. You've got to believe me. Can I help you? David, you shouldn't be here. I don't believe that. I knew it. You're messing with my head. You need to leave right now. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Doing what? Was I talking to you? No. Veronica, you know how I feel about you. You keep sending me these signals, but every time I try to see you... You push me away! Why? Why? You know what? Come on. Get your hands off of me! Get the hell on. Hey! You son of a bitch! I will tell you! I love her! I love her! You don't love her? I'm calling Detective Cortez. came to my house. I'm, I'm starting to get really worried about him. Well, I could go talk to David and tell him to cool off, but oh, that's right. You can't give me any contact information on your patient. I'll give you his information. Great idea. Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, I can stay over if you want me to. Well, you've got an early class to teach. It's a long drive. I'll be right. Thanks for coming back. I never left. See ya.
Oh my god. Oh my god, Jackson. <gasps> There's a serial killer. Do you want to tell us why you did this? I am innocent. I leave it to God to decide who's guilty. He's hunting them. It's simply not believable. Truly unbelievable movies are ripped from the headlines of it. New movies every weekend. Only on Lifetime. Now's the time for cleaner indoor air. Now's the time for a professional air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer. You've known us for cleaning carpet and hard floors, but we've been developing and perfecting our air duct cleaning process and equipment. David Washington. Yo, yeah. what's going on? I have a warrant to search your premises. <laughs> what? What for? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Hmm? Trying to get away from me? Well, I've got news for you. I'm not gonna let you die. And you know why? Because the bears are gonna be in San Francisco this weekend. And we're going. You got that? So you need to get your button gear and get out of this bed right now. It's okay. How's he doing? They don't know. He's still not responding. We arrested David Washington. We found a blood stained knife in his house. The blood matches your boyfriend's DNA exactly. Here's a copy of the forensics report if you're interested. Just came down here to let you know. I don't think David did it. Wait. You were the one who told me he threatened your boyfriend. You said he'd been stalking you for some time. I know. Call it a hunch or, or intuition. I was his doctor for two years. I just, I don't think this is something he would do. Well, the evidence says he's our guy, and that's what matters in court. Do you want to read this or not? It means nothing to me. Just throw it away. Fine. David, he shouldn't be here. You need to leave right now. Why? Why are you doing this to me?
All right, all right, Veronica. Slow down. Okay, so you matched her handwriting. This proves nothing. It proves everything. She set the whole thing up. She sent David to my house. She wanted him to get into a fight with Jackson. That's speculation. You can't prove that. She's out to get me. I know it. Why? Why are you so certain this woman would want to hurt you? That part I don't understand. Uh-huh. You know, Dr. West, I get hunches too, and my gut says you're not being straight with me. Are you sure you're telling me everything? Yes, I'm telling you everything. <laughs> nurse! Nurse! Dr. West? Hello, Dr. West. Hi, Brianna. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm calling to cancel our meeting tomorrow. Oh? Is everything all right? No, um... My boyfriend died yesterday. Oh, my God. What happened? I'd rather not talk about it. I understand. Was it a medical thing, or...? He was stabbed the other night. The police think it was some sort of gang initiation thing. That's terrible. The doctors thought he would pull through, but they were wrong. Veronica, I am so sorry. Where are you? I'm at home. By yourself? Is anyone with you? I'm alone. Uh, what are you doing today? Are, are, you, are you busy? No, I'm not. Would you like some company? If you have time, it would be really great if, if you could just uh, come and sit with me for a while. I'd be happy to. There's a serial killer. Do you want to tell it? Hi. Please come in. How are you? A lot better. Can I get you something to drink? Water's fine. I was thinking about ordering some food to be delivered. Are you hungry? I'm starving. I'm okay. You must be just devastated. I was for the first few hours, but now, not so bad. Obviously, I know I'll have to uh, take some time to get through this, but I think I'm gonna be okay. I think. You're overly optimistic. Why don't you sit down, try to rest? You know, after we talked, I started thinking, Brianna's gonna come over here, and now it's my turn to talk about my problems. You know what? I'm not gonna do that. You're not? What is my life? I help people get through their problems. You do, but... Now, what kind of psychiatrist would I be if I couldn't help myself get past my own problems? Don't you agree? Uh, yes. So I'm going through a hard time. So what? Compared to people who are dealing with unspeakable tragedies, I'm lucky. Yes, but if anyone has a reason to be depressed right now, you do. I mean, your business is destroyed. What are you going to do for a living? I'll bounce back. My mom raised four kids on minimum wage. I know how to work. Your boyfriend just died. He was cheating on me. He was? With one of his students. She sent me a picture of the two of them in bed. <sighs> Can you believe that? Sure, I'll miss him, but seriously, was I gonna spend the rest of my life with him? No. So like I said, when you add it all up, I'm just so very lucky. Well, forgive me, but I don't think you're being truthful. I'm actually being entirely truthful. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Please. Have you ever caused the death of one of your patients? Who are you? Have you ever caused the death of one of your patients? Who the hell are you? Answer the question! 
for once in your life, tell the truth. Tell everyone who read your book that you wrote 200 pages of lies. Tell them that you caused a man to kill himself, but you didn't tell anyone because you didn't want it to ruin your business. He didn't kill himself. It was a car accident, and besides, he wasn't my patient at the time. You can hide behind those excuses, but I'm not buying it. He told me he had recovered. You were his doctor! You of all people knew he was unstable, but you had sex with him, and you let him believe you loved him, and when you were through with him, you broke his heart. And that's why he went driving drunk. How do you know all this? Matthew Thomas was my father. <laughs> so you sent those messages to David and Jackson. You broke into my office. That's right. You uploaded those videos. You stabbed Jackson. And I enjoyed every minute of it. OK, I've heard enough. Brianna Bentley, or whatever your name is, you're under arrest for attempted murder. Attempted? Jackson's not dead. He's gonna be just fine. Oh, that's great. Yeah. For a minute there, I thought I'd lost him. But he's a fighter, that's for sure. These walls are super thick. We're at the top of a hill. You bought a real nice place. What do you want from me? Pass code to your cell phone? Go to hell. Tell me. to tell the truth about what you did to my father. I'm going to record you saying it, and then I'm going to make sure the whole world sees. I'm not doing that. Do it or I'll kill everyone in your family. Your mom, sister, brother, uncle. I know where they all live. <laughs> oh, come on, doctor. Practice what you preach. If you want to get better, you need to tell the truth to your loved ones, to the community, and especially to yourself. Your words, remember? Oh, and don't even think about mentioning me because if you do, I'll just delete the video and we'll have to start again. Start talking. There's a serial killer. Do you want to? My name is Dr. Veronica West. I'm a clinical psychiatrist. A year ago, I had an affair with one of my patients, Matthew Thomas. He fell in love with me, but I didn't feel the same way. I don't see a future for us. So I broke things off. And when I did, Matthew hit rock bottom. He begged me to take him back, but I just couldn't. So one night, he got really drunk. He went driving. He crashed his car. And he died instantly. His death is my fault. <laughs> I've been hiding it from everybody. 
It's my fault. I don't know what else to say. I'm sorry. Matthew, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're going to swallow all of these sleeping pills. I can see the headline now. Overcome with guilt, Dr. Veronica West takes her own life. He fell to the ground. And I ran. And that's when she attacked me. And I don't know, that's all I really remember. I'll be right back. My name is Dr. Veronica West. Psychiatrist. A year ago, I had an affair with one of my patients, Matthew Thomas. He fell in love with me. I suppose you're going to delete it? No. I'm sending it to everybody. Dr. West and Dr. Summers are both busy that day. I got them on the morning talk show, then they have radio in the afternoon. And what about the next day? Robbie, keep it down. Shh. We want you to know that all the profits from the sale of this book will go to the family of Detective Cortez. He gave his life trying to save mine. And for the rest of my life, I'm going to feel responsible for all of this. I crossed the line with a patient. I broke my oath. So the only thing that we can do now is learn from our mistakes. And hopefully by telling you, you can learn something too. All right, are there any more questions? Yes, you're in the back. 
I have a question for Dr. West. Dolphins are playing the Bears this Sunday. You want to go? Why not? Can I ask you a question? Shoot. You want to get married? Yeah. জিলেপি খেতে পারে পার করে নিল ভাদুর ছোট ভাই